What's going on guys, D Legend here. Today we have a video that I've been waiting to film for a very, very long time. And I haven't been able to film it because my PSA return never got back until yesterday. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. I'm gonna talk through what exactly this is. Um, if you guys are new to PSA grading, I'll kind of cover a few points about that as well. But uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon content and more PSA returns and submissions and such. Uh, yeah, let's get started on this video. So this here is a PSA return. So basically what a PSA return is, is you take some raw cards. So like, let's just say any raw card from either Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. Um, PSA will authenticate the card and grade it based off its condition and then we'll return it to you. And um, a lot of people grade because number one, it increases the value of the cards. Number two, it keeps them safe and protected. And number three, it's just that they look really nice in their collection when they're slabbed up like this. So this is an example of a PSA graded card. It's a Shonen Jump Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, this is a beautiful card, as you can see, and it looks really nice in the PSA slab. It's a PSA 9, so 10 means it's the greatest grade you can possibly get for PSA. And 9 is the second best grade you can get. And then it goes down to 8.5, 8, 7, and so on and so forth. Um, so this is a 9. And this one I actually bought as a graded card already. So it was pretty expensive to be honest, compared to raw cards that you could possibly buy. Um, so for like, <clears throat> I'll talk about the cards in this um, in this submission and I'll kind of go over the prices and stuff when they're raw and when they're graded um, to the best of my knowledge. But uh, let's talk about the actual submission process first. So if you guys don't know, PSA has a bunch of submission processes and uh, different grading levels or tiers, and uh, right now PSA is actually shut down for until July 1st, supposedly. Um, so they're not taking any submissions below Super Express, and Super Express is $300 per card to submit. So there's no real reason to submit any cards with them right now, unless you have a card um, that is in gem mint condition, and it's something super, super expensive, like a first edition base set Shadowless Charizard or something like that or some sort of sports cards like Wayne Gretzky or Michael Jordan or something like that that is crazy and valuable. Um, so essentially it goes for, I don't know the actual like full tier list, um, but there's bulk submissions, there's quarterly specials. These are really cheap, but you need to be a member, a PSA member to actually obtain these options. These take about a year each. Um, and then there's uh, economy, which is normally a thing but they shut that down for a while now as well. That used to be $20, I believe it's 50, no. Uh, yeah, I believe it's $50 per, per card now for Economy whenever they reopen that up. Um, after that, it's, it's regular, <clears throat> which at the time of me submitting this, this was $50 per card to submit, and now they changed that to $100 per card, uh, and who knows what the price will be after that. And then there's Express, which used to be $75 a card at the time of submitting this, and now that it's $150 per card to submit through Express. So those are the different tier levels. This one was regular. Um, I sent this in on February 4th. Uh, no, I sent this out on February 2nd. It got delivered at PSA on February 4th. And then from then on, it actually got entered into the system on February 17th. And it returns me yesterday, so April 7th. Um, that means that we managed to get this within Two months which is actually really really good for regular because the complete through date right now i believe is january 19th or something like that or the 21st <clears throat> so technically um i jumped the queue by like two to three weeks which is awesome um this could have taken another month to complete and that would have been totally normal um because that's how long it's taking regular submissions these days it's taking express submissions about a month and a half to two months anyways as well so i'm really excited and glad i got this back um within two months so um, let's get into the package itself and then we'll talk about the cards inside. I already opened it up because I've seen a lot of other YouTubers struggle with opening up PSA packages. So that's what it looks like on the inside. It's actually packaged really well from PSA. Um, there's a lot of bubble wrap inside this time. I think normally <clears throat> um, with PSA, if they have multiple cards that they're sending you, I think they just kind of send them like this instead, but like with a taller box, if that makes sense. Wait, no. Yeah, like that. They just send them like that, but then they have like a really thin layer of foam around the edges um, to, protect, to protect the cards. But I think this is a way safer shipping method with a bunch of bubble wrap. So I'm happy that they did this for my package. 
<clears throat> um, inside you normally get a packing slip as well, but I took mine out already. And as you can see, we have six cards here. <coughs> Excuse me. So of these six cards, there are three that are mine and three that are my friends. So let's start with the card at the bottom. This is the Pokemon card. And I really know the grades for these because I did check this time, unfortunately. Um, it was kind of an accident. But uh, if you guys didn't know, you can check your grades before the cards actually get back to you from PSA. But uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice Pokemon card. Um, Off-centered on the back. Some whitening here and there. And uh, there's no real scratches on the surface that I can see at least. But this is a Charizard from XY Evolutions. Very nice card. Um, there are some scratches on the foiling, unfortunately, I believe. But it's a very, very nice card nonetheless. And this card's gonna go up in price quite a bit in the near future because Evolutions is actually getting a reprint. And it's gonna take forever for those people who have copies of this card raw to actually submit it. So I think it'll be really good to hold on to this. Um, this card is off centered, as you can see, and there was some whitening and a couple scratches on the foiling. So this card got a near mint to mint eight, um, which is pretty good. Not bad for an Evolution Charizard. I think these still go for $200 to $250 each. Um, so if you can pull one and you grade it, then you're technically making money if you are able to submit it and get this grade or higher. However, <clears throat> um, a lot of people are doing that these days and with just random cards, like literally any common, like let's just say, this is a nice card because it ha does feature the uh, um, Elemental Hero Neos and the Neo Spatians. However, like let's just say people start grading random hollows from Yu-Gi-Oh, like this, like I have no idea what this is. If they start grading random stuff like this, like they do for Pokemon, then the PSA market will be flooded with like cards that are worth nothing. Like this card graded 10 is probably worth $20 max, like 10, $10 even. Like nobody would pay for it because nobody cares about it um, to be graded. But Pokemon is doing that and the Pokemon community is doing that for like literally any full art card or any um, V card or GX card or EX card, and it's oversaturating the market with crappy, crappy um, cards. And that's why it's taking PSA so long to create everything. <coughs> it's honestly really unfortunate because if people just sent in cards that they actually truly wanted to collect, then they wouldn't be making everybody's life so much easier. It'd be so much faster to get anything done. It would be amazing. But uh, that's just not the case right now. We have a lot of junk slabs going on. And moving on, we do have another Evolutions Charizard, as you can see here. This one I thought was a better condition than the other one, like just slightly. I think the foiling looked a bit better to me and it was still off-centered, as you can see. Um, but it's off-centered the, like, actually no, this one's actually better centered. I don't know, maybe they flipped them around. Cause I figured I would grab the not so nice copy and put it up front just so they could see it. And then hopefully they would grade the second copy nicer because of the first copy that they saw. But this one looks pretty clean. There's some whitening there at the bottom um, on both corners, but that's just normal factory. Um, that's just how they cut the card, honestly. There's a bit of whitening there too. I don't, remember, don't really remember if I saw that when I submitted the card, but these are both for my friend. And uh, this one also got a near mint to mint eight. So first and foremost, we got two Charizards, near mint to mint eight. Um, those are both for my friend Top Sleeves. Check him out on Instagram, really great guy. Um, he sells a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh um, products right now. So Yu-Gi-Oh size sleeves. And he also has some Pokemon stuff for sale and he will be developing some Pokemon size sleeves in the near future from what I understand. So be sure to check him out and follow him at Top Sleeves, on, uh, at, at Top Sleeves TCG. That's his name, I'll probably leave a pop up here, but yeah. Anyways, moving on to the next card. This is for my friend, Baby Broly. This is a beautiful card and not a lot of people have seen it actually. <clears throat> so I'm excited to show this to you guys. It is a dual terminal one blue eyes white dragon from 2010 As you can see a gorgeous card. It has a really really interesting foil pattern um, I love the shatter foil type thing or the mosaic foil, whatever you want to call it. I think it's shatter foil <clears throat> But as you can see this card is basically flawless only issue with it is that it is slightly off-centered so we honestly thought this would be a PSA 9, like both of us thought this would be a PSA 9. Um, and the back looks really clean as well, like there's no issues with it that we can really see. However, this card actually got a gem in 10, so we're really happy for that, for, uh, for Baby Broly. 
because you got a gem mint 10 on this beautiful blue eyes white dragon from dual terminal congrats to you baby really um i think this is a huge card i think it's like 1200 us dollars to 1500 us dollars in psa 10. i think it's like pop 26 or something like that right now um so not super high <clears throat> compared to some pokemon cards and stuff like that but yeah, be sure to check out Baby Broly on Instagram and on YouTube. He's got a really cool YouTuber channel. So check him out for sure. Um, great guy, has a lot of great content. So be sure to check him out. Anyways, moving on to the last three slabs. These are all mine. I am super excited to show these to you guys because they are the first three ghost rares I pulled. So if you guys know, um, I haven't pulled too many ghost rares on the channel yet. We pulled, actually, no, we, we, that's a lie. We pulled seven ghost rares already on the channel. And it's been a wild journey getting there, to be honest with you, because before, I think it was October of 2020, um, I never pulled a single grocer in my life. And after that, we've pulled seven since then in less than six months, right? So that's pretty wild. Um, let's go ahead and reveal these one at a time. We'll go in order of number one to number three. So this is the very first ghost I've ever pulled in my life. I love this card. I don't think I'll ever sell it. It is... If you guys are fans of the channel, you guys will know that this is a Power Tool Dragon. What a gorgeous card. From Raging Battle, first edition Ghost Rare Power Tool Dragon. That is epic. Like the foiling is literally gorgeous. Like there's nothing wrong with it. There's that tiny little dot there, pencil point mark, um, whatever you want to call it, like a little pressure dent, but it is a gorgeous card nonetheless. Um, obviously not quite well centered, but that's just common with all power tool dragons. Um, I feel like if you saw a PSA 10 power tool dragon, it would be off centered as well. So I'm really happy with that. Um, this one is off centered left to right. So the left side border is thicker than the right side border, as you can see. But other than that is a flawless card, absolutely flawless. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no whitening on the corners or on the edges. It is literally pack fresh to a sleeve to PSA. Um, I like I held on to this card for quite a while before I did send off my first submission to PSA. But uh, this is a gorgeous card, and I thought it would get a PSA 9, and sure enough, it did get a PSA 9. I was really, really happy to see that for this card specifically, because I knew it wasn't going to be a perfect 10 because of the centering. But a PSA 9 is gorgeous for this card, especially with that beautiful Ghost Rare foiling, and I'm really happy to preserve this card in my collection forever. Very, very happy with that. <clears throat> Um, I think the first Ghost Rare that you ever pull is going to be the most nostalgic, and that is the case for me for sure. <clears throat> Second card, we're going to reveal this right away here. It's number 92, Heart Earth Dragon. So this is a Ghost Rare from Cosmo Blazer. Absolutely gorgeous card as well. As you can see, there's a lot of like scratches or scuff marks on the actual case itself. It looks really, really bad, so I'm probably going to get PSA to recase re this. I think they do it for free if they mess up, and I think that... I think honestly that you can consider them messing up. Like, look at that. Like you can't get this off. I'm gonna try real quick here, just with like a microfiber cloth to get it off. But it doesn't really come off, unfortunately at all. Like it's just, it's not like um, dust or anything. It's not like fingerprint marks. It's just a scuffing on the actual plastic of the case itself, which really sucks because it's a really nice card and I would love to see it in all its glory without all these horrible scuff marks. Um, so number 92, Heart Earth Dragon, the second Ghost Rare I ever pulled. First edition from Cosmo Blazer, 2013. Beautiful card, as you can see here. There wasn't really anything wrong with it, other than this one massive, like, I can't, I don't know if I can show you guys, let me just try. Um, there's a lot of glare right now. There's like one print line down the back that just makes it no bueno. Where is it? It's like down, it's like straight down the back, horizontally. You can't really tell because there's so many stupid scuff marks. Um, right there, straight down the middle, right here. Straight down the middle of the card, there is a factory line. And that's just the way it came out of the pack. It is a pack fresh card as well. And it ended up getting a PSA 9, um, which is kind of what I, like, I honestly thought it would be a PSA 8 or 9 because of that scuff, like that massive print line. Um, so I'm happy with a 9, to be honest with you. Like, it's a pretty solid grade for this beautiful card. I think it's a pretty low pop card as well still. Um, I think it might be, like, under 20. I think. I think. In PSA 9, at least. Um, so it's a really beautiful card. Probably my favorite of the three Ghost Rares, um, just Ghost Rare-wise. Um, favorite Ghost... First favorite Ghost Rare that I ever pulled is probably going to be this one, because it is the first Ghost Rare I ever pulled. But 
This is a very, very nice card, not gonna lie. And number three, this is Heroic Champion Excalibur, first edition from Return of the Duelist Ghost Rare. So this is a gorgeous card. There is literally nothing wrong with it, okay? When I submitted this card, I 100% thought it would be a PSA 10. And it did not end up getting a PSA 10. I don't know if you guys can see anything wrong with it, but I definitely don't. So let me know in the comments below what you guys um, think about this card. Because I think it deserved a PSA 10. And I think it would have been a beautiful card for a PSA 10. Like that right there was not there before I submitted this card. So I'm really cheesed about that. Like I don't know what that is. If you guys go ahead and look at my old PSA submission video back from back in uh, February, like there is literally nothing wrong with this card whatsoever, except for that little dot there. I don't know what that is. And I think there's a couple scratches here that were not there before either. So that kind of pisses me off because I feel like PSA and like it goes straight down the card there on the left side, unfortunately. But what a gorgeous card nonetheless. And it ended up getting the mint nine, unfortunately. It would have been pop one in PSA 10. Um, so that would have been really, really epic, but I think it's still under pop 30 for a PSA 9, so very nice card nonetheless. This is the least expensive of the three Ghost Rares that I graded myself and uh, pulled myself. This one is probably like a $60 card raw in PSA, or in, um, yeah, raw in near mint condition. But uh, in PSA 9, I'd say it's probably worth anywhere between $300 to $400. Um, Heart of Dragon, I'd say is probably worth at least five to 600. And then Power Tool Dragon, I probably would value it at about 1,200, 1,500 in PSA 9, because this is a Signer Dragon. They are going to be super, super hard to come across in the near future. And I don't think I'll sell any of these cards, to be honest with you. But uh, there you have it, guys. My first ever PSA submission and return. Technically not my first PSA submission. I do have a bunch of cards coming back as well in the near future. So stick around for all that if you guys want to see my more future Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! returns. Uh, my next one should be a Pokemon return. Um, that one was subbed through my middleman before I started my own PSA membership. Um, but yeah, that guy, I think he subbed in August for us. And I think it was a quarterly special for Pokemon. So that should come back in the near future in like within the next month or two. Um, so you'll see a video for that in the near future. And then I've got another Yu-Gi-Oh sub coming back probably within like six months. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a very long video, but I hope it was informative for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you all soon. Peace.